Okay. Um, so I'm doing James Monroe. Um, um, here's some background information for him. Um, he's a Democratic Republican, and he's the fourth president of the United States. Um, he's the president during uh, from 1816 to 1824, and the Mis Missouri Compromise is um, so. Um, when he is the president of the United States, uh, Missouri become a new state in uh, this country. But however, um, there are some disputes over whether Missouri should become a, a free state or a slavery state. And so people decided um, to become a slavery state and, um, and people separate Maine from Massachusetts so that the uh, number of slavery state and free state will balance out. And James Monroe signed this uh, signed compromise. And there are some disputes over the borders um, when he's the president. And the Monroe's doctrine is what I'm focusing about today. So the Monroe's doctrine. Um, um, during uh, Monroe's presidency, um, he, he announced a new foreign policies, um, which later on called Monroe's doctrine. So, the American continents are henceforth not to be considered as the subjects for future colonization by any European powers. So, what it basically said about is that um, America, uh, the whole American continent should be on their own and shouldn't be intervened uh, uh, by other European countries because um, they're now not a colony of um, European anymore. Um, so here's my thesis. Morrow's doctrine gave the United States rights to intervene in other countries and expand their lands, which helped the United States spread their power over the world. Um, so uh, some causes about uh, for the doctrine. So uh, in 1821, Russian proclaimed that the area north um, 51st parallel extending 100 miles to the Pacific um, would be the off limits to non-Russians. So, um, some parts of the Ameri uh, of the American continent uh, was um, limited to the American uh, people. And um, later on, revolution was happening in South and Central America, and Monroe was afraid that the Spanish and French uh, um, colonies would come back to America and um, threat, threaten them. And so, um, so um, later on, they came out with uh, um, rules, which is Monroe's Doctrine, and Britain um, and United States signed a contract. So later on, um, so later on, uh, the Americans see that as a as a um, chance to expand their power. So they uh, take the advantage of the doctrine, and uh, so they thought they had the rights to uh, control over the whole continent. So and. Um, so later on, they they seize tax, they uh, invade part of the Mexico, and and that part of Mexico became now as uh, Texas. They also intervened the Latin America, and so in nineteen zero and nineteen o one. I know it's sorry in nineteen o three. Um, American imposed flat uh, amendment to the Cuban Americans, and Cuba is now uh, controlled by America and become um, part, part of the United States. And, and the doctrine and in Ronald Reagan's administration.